Ready, guys? Sure. Yeah. What's up, Warriors? My name's Tiara, and this is Caitlin. We are sad to announce that there will not be a Be Kind fun run this year due to the lack of participation from the students. We appreciate those who fundraised and wanted to pay it forward to the school. Those who fundraised and registered can be reimbursed at the bookstore. But the good news is you can now be supportive to your dance department at their dance concert on April 28th. Here are some clips from the weather. <laughs> How do I feel about Chris? Um, he's a nice guy. So um, I just got here. So yeah. If Weatherman was a sport, Richie would be the best player, top in the game. Okay, well, uh, you know, Chris is hands down the best Weatherman. He works hard, he does a good job, he always shows up and gives it 100%. Richie is so much better than Chris. Like, I can't. Like, how is Chris even such a, like, a Weatherman? What's up, guys? This is Richie, and this is the weather. You know, the best weather, man. The lows are going to be in the 60s, and the highs are going to be going towards the high hundreds. You know what? Don't wear a sweater, because it's going to be hot. Have a good day. Westwood Cafeteria is now accepting applications for student workers for next school year. Earn $10 per hour and a free meal. Please see the manager for details. Here are some clips for food. Josh, Josh, Escargot. Where am I? I've captured you, Josh. Ah. I'll be right back. Don't leave. Where am I? Well, welcome back to another WN and Lunch Specials. Okay, I've got it now. So on Monday, April 24th, we have spaghetti and meat sauce with garlic breadsticks and tossed salad. On Tuesday the 25th, we have beef tacos, Spanish rice, and refried beans. On the 26th, we have popcorn chicken bowl with mashed potatoes and a dinner roll. On Thursday the 27th, we have teriyaki chicken with brown rice, steamed broccoli and carrots. On the 28th, we have chicken and waffles with baked fries. Well, that does it for the week. But in my opinion, you should... Oh, 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 oh no. They're on to me. Have you taken and failed Algebra 1, Algebra 2, Geometry, Freshman English, Sophomore English, or World History? If so, the Credit Recovery Summer School at Westwood may be a good option for you. To register, click the Summer School Registration button on the Westwood webpage and fill out the form. Then go to Counseling to get the Summer School contract. Check your school email regularly for updates on your enrollment. Here are some clips for sports. Welcome to Westwood Sports Section with your host, Sawyer Navarrete and Tanya Chavez. Hey Warriors, welcome back to another edition of Westwood Sports Section. I'm Tanya and this is my co-host, Sawyer. The volleyball had a game last Tuesday. Let's check it out. Here are some clips from Tuesday's boys volleyball game. Side. I think that's what it really came down to was stopping all those good hits that were coming in from Red Mountain. How did you feel about like winning today? Well, I felt like we did really well as a team. Everybody was flying on the court, getting around, getting the ball up, and getting it over the net, which made it that much more fun. And the game has won well when everybody's having fun. Okay, so how Thank do you, you feel about today's game? Um, we started off slow, but we caught back and we won. <laughs> Cool 
Thank you for tuning in to another edition of West Coast Sports Network. Hey Warriors, do you want sick Westwood gear or have your ideas become a reality? Then head up the Westwood Entrepreneurship and Marketing Club. Stop by the Library Resource Center Thursday morning at 7.30. Text at WEMC16 to 81010 for text updates. Now here's a robotics video. Westwood Robotics competed in the Arizona West Robotics Tournament April 5th through April 8th. Hello, Westwood. I'm here with Tom Saxon. So, Mr. Saxon, you're one of the mentors here in the Westwood Robotics program. What do you think we need to do? What do we need to get done to get to the finals in this robotics competition? Uh, just keep playing the game you're playing, and everybody work together, and uh, you'll keep moving on up. So, um, you're Westwood Robotics, obviously. Um, what role do you play? I'm the president, lead programmer, lead electronics, and lead wiring. Okay, so what is one of the biggest obstacles you would say you've faced so far since you've joined robotics? Uh, probably learning a new language I had to for programming the robot. Okay, thank you. Hello, what's what I'm here with? Aiden Wendell. So what role do you play in Westwood Robotics? Well, I work in the pits. I work on the robot and make sure that it's all functioning for our matches and making sure that it works. What's your favorite part about working in the pits? Uh, it's really intense. I like the intensity of it. You get a lot done and you learn a lot too. All right, thank you. So you're a, men a mentor for Westwood Robotics. Um, so, so far, how are we performing and what do you think we have to do to perform even better? Individually, we've been performing pretty well. Our climbing has been pretty consistent. Our gears and our driving has been really, really well placed. Uh, our driver has been able to maneuver the field quite nicely. I think the biggest thing that we have to look for whenever we get into these finals matches is how the three teams cooperate uh, and how we can have the three robots occupying space, playing defense against the other teams, as well as meeting offensive goals. So that's, that's what our drive team has been working on strategy with so I'm hoping that strategy ends up working out well here as we go through. Okay, thank you. Most for robotics for finals in the tournament and achieve a wild card invitation to compete in the world championships in Houston, Texas, where they are competing now. Go on to twitch.com and search first robotic competitions to watch them compete live. Attention students as summer approaches and temperatures rise Please remember to adhere to the dress code and appreciate, we appreciate your cooperation. Thank you. Here are some tips on being green. Hello Westwood, welcome to another weekly green tips by Earth Club. Did you know that every year on April 22nd marks the anniversary of the modern environmental movement in 1970? Air pollution was commonly accepted as the smell of prosperity and the word environment was commonly used in spelling bees. Rachel Carson's Silent Springs was a book that helped the United States get more involved in environmental concerns, whereas before they had been oblivious to. Earth Day in 1970 gave voice to that emerging consciousness channeling the energy of the anti-war protest movement and putting environmental concerns on the front page. Here are some things to do on Earth Day, and really every day. And that's it. Thank you. A reminder to students from attendance, if you have more than I am absences in a class, you have to submit an attendance appeal form. This form is due Friday, May 5th in the office. If you're being audited in any of your classes, don't forget to turn in the audit repeal form by May 5th. And now for some student election videos. That's it for today, Warriors. And remember, fear the spear.